So here we have a Optoma HD U300X. This one's got a issue with its DLP chip, which I might have fired some laser disco lights into. This one's already part <laughs> Annoying. This one's mostly a part already, so I've already taken things like the lamp out and the that out. I've actually had it completely to pieces. The first thing we need to do to get this open is we've got these screws need to be undone on either side to get the lamp housing. The lamp's already over here, it lives in there. That's out. So this one actually needs a new DLP chip because my disco lasers I was using over there shone into here and burnt the chip. Well, it is what it is. You live and learn. So you've got about a million screws to undo underneath and all the holes. And you should be able to get this piece off as you lift this off. Where is it? <laughs> there is a ribbon cable. As you see, I've already had a bit of a issue with. I didn't realise it was there. Luckily, I don't think I've damaged it. But you need to remember to take the undo that little couch. So obviously, you've got all your controls up here. Fingers crossed, I haven't ruined that. Then there's this cage with a variety of screws that need to come out. I took this apart about two weeks ago. So let's take the metal shielding off the top and then you get to the insides like this there are a few components missing like my ribbon cables and a small cage blur fan which sits way down in there but these ribbon cables in general are connecting from wrong ones here down to the daughter board down there for the DLP controller which you'll be able to see we will see them better in a second so I only just have to undo every screw on the board. Wherever they are, they're all located around underneath there. You'll see just every screw, basically. And you also have to undo all the screws and standoffs from the rear of the casing. And you should be able to unplug every single one of these little infrared controls, fan controls, everything, basically. The power controls, the small loop wire here needs to come off that comes off and we'll just thrown over there out of the way once you've got everything undone you start lifting it up and you'll probably find there's loads more stuff plugged into all these little connectors here here and here and here I, I hope I still know where they go so I can find out when I get my new chip so that comes out that can be put out of the way metal cage Few screws be one somewhere around here and in various places around the casing. Pull them out. This isn't a proper tear down video on how to do it, I'm just showing you what's inside basically. So, there's the inside guts of the machine. So, to get this assembly out, which is the one we're interested in, it's not usually janky like that because I've had it all apart, it's all loose. Not only are you going to have to undo all of the screws that are holding it down as you see loads of places there's screw holes there 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 you also want to get this what I'm calling the lighthouse assembly out so to do this there are screws everywhere down here uh, where's the other one I couldn't find right down in there there's a screw don't forget that one just a few down there and this assembly gonna be hard to do with one hand can lift and move out the way enough like so to let you lift the entire whatever this assembly is called this is going to be near impossible with one hand so I'm going to have to get a foot on it <laughs> like so and then there's our actual projection assembly on this side here where there's a piece of dust which I don't really want in it is where the colour wheel is so that's where the light's entering the system before it gets shot out of the end into the area where the light processing happens and the piece we're interested in is underneath the heatsink. This would ordinarily have all the screws fitted. Sorry about the light, but I'm using my phone light, so I'm going to take my last screw out. That's now free. Lift this assembly off. This assembly will be taped on using that piece of tape to there, just probably to provide some kind of grounding. And that is just a, a block with a aluminium chunk sticking out. 
that'll have thermal paste on it. So that can go there, out the way. And here is the back side of the DLP chip. This is all loose because I've had this out. Now remember I was saying about those ribbon cables earlier. So you've got two that go on to the front side of the board. I should get a better grab on it. So you've got two that go on the front side of the board here, which is close to the lens side. And John the reverse. So what we need to do is get these screws on and put them up really very tight. And there we go, that piece is off. I'm going to keep this as all as one chunk. Actually, no, because I can show you everything there. So there's the interface of the chip. There's the back of the board and all the components and the contact pads for the chip. So that can now go over here. That's the way. That's it. Some natural thing. We're doing this on the floor on the carpet, by the way. Now, here is the DLP chip. This comes off in two parts. So you have the actual connection plane. So if I flip onto my hand to give you a better contrast, that is where the connections are that go through on both sides, the circuit board to the actual DLP itself. This will be covered in thermal paste, but I've already had this out and cleaned it. So that can live over there out of the way. Be careful with that little interconnection piece because there are little gold pins on it which are very easy to damage. So let's take oh fucking hell. There we go. Here's our DLP. This is the part that is having problems. Here it is. It's a bit dirty because it's been out of the machine. Let's clean it off. If you look closely enough at this, you'll actually be able to see the problem areas of this chip. Get the light at the right angle, right? See that up there? That little dot's in the corner there? Try and get the angle right. You see those dot, the dots in that far corner, they're just there. That is where the problem is on this chip. It's where my laser light was. I'll, I'll show you. Hold on. So here's my room setup, wherever the screen is. Oh, focus. Hello. There we are. And the projector usually sits down here on the table by the 3D printer. And I was using my laser light sat just here on top of the radio, which would emulate it pointing directly into the bottom corner of that DLP chip. So you see where the dots are, and that's where the problem is. Hmm. Sadly, it damaged the chip in that corner. I'm trying to put it back on here, see if I can clean it up a bit for you. <laughs> Polish up the broken. Chip. Let's see if I can get a better exposure of the issue. There it is. Right, you can see on the chip, not only is it gone in that corner, and you can still see where it says Optoma because the chip decided to stop working, so the loading screw is all you ever saw. But you can see where it's cast down. It's also done the same. If you get the light at the right angle, it's done it across the screen as well. I'll include a screenshot now so you can actually see. Well, I probably can't actually, because it's a, this is a one take video. But you'll see on the bottom of the screen where the issue is, up here, it casts a line up, a white line, and along. And yeah, that's the issue. Catch you next time when we fix it. <laughs>